just wonder what's going on so you turn the sound back on and you find out they've taken some wonder drug 
you know? <laughs> and they're just, you know, all healthy and beautiful and smiley. And uh, then there's a voice in the background that keeps telling you all the horrible things that can happen to you if you take these drugs, you know? And uh, then, you know, there's a guy and uh, he's in the park and he's running towards the porta potty. And he's just running and running and you're just hoping in your heart that he's gonna get there in time, you know, to the porta potty. And then he turns around and catches a football. Well, he was just going out for a pass, but you know, with all these paradoxes staring you in the face, somebody had to write a song about this. It's called Mortiva the Underground. Watching television on a quiet afternoon. Watching television on a quiet afternoon. Patiently waiting for the program to resume. People, perfect people show up on a perfect TV screen. Happy that their lives have just become a perfect dream. The children and the adults catching footballs near the outhouse. What magic is in charge of what we see? There must be an explanation for this bold confabulation. Then we finally ascertain what it can be. They have received the greatest medicine in the world. But soon our disclaimers are unfurled. This glorious romance must not be misconstrued. Take this drug to save your life, but you might die if you do. Tell your doctor that you're dying for this pill. They'll remember to send you a pill. With some perfect skin and joints, super colon and intestine, classic smile and physique, you'll look gorgeous in your coffin. Avoid tuberculosis and atrial fibrillation, coccidioidomycosis and mental masturbation. Tell your doctor if you see these in your family tree. Don't take this if you're pregnant or if you plan to be. It is the most amazing medicine in the world. But soon our disclaimers are unfurled. This glorious romance must not be misconstrued. Take this drug to save your life, but you might die if you do. Are you ready for this miracle drug today? Ask your doctor first to hear just what they say. If it's yes, 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 this drug's the very best, well then find another doctor right away. Well avoid all illnesses, the old ones and the new. Medullary solo pianissimo type 2 Adagio allegro forte flatus type 4 Don't associate with anyone who's had these things before So it is the most amazing medicine in the world But soon our disclaimers are unfurled this glorious romance must not be misconstrued. Take this drug to save your life. Pharma has you in their sights. Take this drug to save your life. But you might die if you do. This is Tony Dean with the doctor. So he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Well, that doesn't mean I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you don't have to read the commercials. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, this one, I'm, I guess I'm next. Yes, very at, next. At my very first ACMA event, um, Joe Virga, and he's here tonight somewhere, um, sang a song called um, Let's Light a Candle. And that just 
really touched me. I mean, it brought me to tears, and I came home and looked him up and sang it for months, and I wrote a little song like it, and it was, it was like a first grade song. It was really bad. So I played it away, but about six months ago, um, we were downtown lighting candles for um, uh, children who had overdosed, or and just, and it struck me, and, and it, it's not, for me, it wasn't just the lighting of the candle. It's shining a light on things that are happening. Um, the lighting a candle symbolizes um, shining a light on issues that need to be addressed. Issues like mental illness, like drug addiction, the homeless. And as the gospel tune says, don't hide it under a bushel. Shine that light. So this, maybe at the end you'll help us um, close it out. You'll, you'll get the words. But it's called Shine a Light. Let's light a candle for those who have been abused. Let's shine a light on substance abuse. Let's light a candle to give them hope today. Lights from our candle light day. Thank 
Every time so I can get my cape on. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get put together. <laughs> Oh, 
means hear my soul what do you think the man in the moon will say nods and takes a bow is we always make him smile because we fall in love all over again every day <laughs> Way back. A, a friend of mine sent me an email describing the songwriter circle which is held here in, at All Faith Church and uh, so I you know I, I just came uh, to see what it was all about I never heard of the uh, ACMA at the time and so I attended a, you know a few uh, sessions of the songwriter circle and I realized right away that I'd never be able to hear any of this music any other way, you know, that it's so unique. All the different people that come and write the songs and you listen to them and you never would have heard them otherwise. And some examples were uh, Feed Me by Andy Getch about his cat, <laughs> Port Wine by Ken Crosby, a song about a guy who rents his heart instead of giving it by Doug Chait and Woodstock by Jim England, Pushing the Chain by Robert Bidney, Pulling Your Leg by Dave Stanley, and Glenn Sabatka's dog was also featured. He would sing along with Glenn's blues heart. Now Glenn's not here tonight, uh, but we actually, I think Robert Bidney has a, a, a recording of this dog uh, singing, you know, along with the blues heart. <laughs> so, so this song is called The Songwriter's Circle. It's a songwriter's circle at All Faith Church On a road in the city of Paul No one aspires to change the world But it happens when they write a song 
stumbling in free fall out of their dreams. Songs about lovers and songs about friends. Metaphors and similes by the music waves like wisdom streaming on the wind. Songs about Woodstock and songs about war and escaping to Canada, closing the door, pulling your leg and pushing the chain. And there's an emperor cat who sings, Feed me again. It's a songwriter circle in all faith church on a road in the city of Howl. is cast out a simple idea, a simple idea to go out in deep. The song tells its story, the message is clear, and it ends before the listener falls asleep. So living forever is on my list, with port wine and a man who is out on love, cause he rents his heart. He should be listening to the dogs in harmony with the blues heart. It's all about the music, America, the music, living in the city of Palm. No one aspires to change the world, but it happens when we write a song. It's all about the music, America, the music, living in the city of palms. No one aspires to change the world, but it happens when they write a song. Yeah, no one aspires to change the world, but it happens when they write a song. One that everybody knows, and it's kind of a medley, you know. And so we want everybody to sing along because it always sounds better. <laughs> this is a what is it, compilation? Is that what we call it? Two songs together? Mm -hmm. A mashup. A mashup. <laughs> You recognize the country roads and on the road. Thank you. 